Paul Nagy, 1325 Orchard Street. Last year, when the senior citizen development on Mr. Marconi's property was put on the table, I spoke in favor of it, and I do so tonight. Mr. Marconi has sold that property, and the developer has laid before us a nice, sensible project similar, similar to others they have developed elsewhere that have been useful additions to those communities. This one is located on Audubon and will probably exit to Lefferson. The location is important. Larger comp apartment complexes already exist nearby. Seniors will uh, ha have close access to Walmart, restaurants, the mall, Myers and Kroger's, I-75, and especially the new hospital. Last council meeting, objections were made to stop the project as they are tonight under the guise and claim of it being subsidized housing. It is not subsidized housing, let us be clear. The developers are seeking a tax credit. A tax credit is an inducement to develop. We are trying to increase development in our city. Subsidies are when the government pays the tenant's bill. This will not be subsidized housing. I suspect that that is already stated in the agreement with Town Development Group. And if it isn't, it could easily be done so in a single clause. Please rewrite the resolution to make sense instead of that legally googly goop that we were treated to again last council meeting and that every attorney in Middletown is laughing at. That would address Mr. Mulligan's and our legitimate concern that it not become subsidizing housing, subsidized housing in the future. In light of the city's present circumstances, it is a positive development. Please vote in favor of it and let us move on. But I have a bigger <coughs> concern tonight. Last year, a council member said, we have to get rid of people on section eight. And a community leader said, we have to get rid of low income people. Last council meeting, we were told that unemployed, homeless, mentally impaired people were garbage being dumped on our streets from other communities. The impression was left that it was in such quantities you could barely drive downtown. Add to this kind of rhetoric, the comments coming now in the debate on the swimming pools, and we have the perfect climate for class warfare between the haves and the have-nots and the blacks versus whites. Let's stop that right now. Let us quit polarizing our community. The noted historian Arnold Toynbee said that civilis, civilized society, I'm sorry, I'll go fast. Civili I'm almost through. Civilized society advances when it's strong, protect the weak. Jesus said, the poor you have with you always. If a man hungers, feed him. If he's naked, clothe him. And if he's sick, take him in. And the other side of the coin is equally as important is that the Bible says if a man won't work, don't let him eat. And if any provide for, not for his own house, he's denied the faith and his work worse than an infidel. Let's teach people. Getting rid of people is the talk of Adolf Hitler and Idi Amin. We must not do that. Let's talk about the issues. Let us debate and let us change the rules on Section 8 and other subsidies, but let us not demean anyone. Finally, the Mormons who spoke at the last council meeting and tonight received a building valued at about $300,000 to $350,000 as an inducement, similar to a tax credit, to bring their business here and about the same amount in cash under condition they provide a certain amount of jobs in the city. Those were uh, clearly subsidies and we're glad they're here. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Nagy. 